Got out the big guns today. This is an engine hoist. I'm using it to lift my 1,300 pound keel. I changed over the attachment points and now we'll see if I can get it up off the ground. It's not necessary to flip it over just to weld it because this can be welded even if it was being welded from the bottom. But I found gravity helps the weld look better and I think if it looks better then it must be a better weld. You've seen these white bags in the background of previous parts of the video. They're full of rubber bits. I got them for free. Here's my first attempt at creating a piece of insulation for the bottom. It's rubber bits. They look like this. I put a little bit of polyurethane mixed in with the bits. Came up with this, but it's too brittle. You could easily just break off a piece. First coat of primer on an upside down keel. Got all the pilot holes drilled in the top of the keel where it's going to be bolted on. They are 100 millimeters apart. This is the drill bit that I used for it. What's cool about it is that it lasted this whole time, no problem, I can still use it. And part of how I kept it cool enough to maintain its edge is to dip it in water in between about three times for each hole. And this is 11 gauge mild steel, which is supposed to be about one eighth of an inch, but it's actually a little bit less. There are a total of 66 holes. As the sizes go up, it's more and more difficult to drill the next hole. So <coughs> I rotate this around inside of the hole once I've got it drilled to make the next step up a little bit easier. This drilling process is taking place on day 96. Everything is drilled and I only broke one 532nds drill bit. I've begun welding on the keel attachment to the bottom of the hull. It will be completely solid from here to here and of course from here to here everywhere. And that brings the videos up to date. It's the 21st of December. So in the future, I'll post as many videos as I can, but it'll probably be about a month in between each one before there's enough progress to make a video out of. Someone asked me to explain my situation. In other words, how do I find the time and the money to build this boat? It's pretty simple for me. It started when I was 29 years old. I started a cookie business. I worked all my waking hours for two years, and then I only worked 12 hours a day for a couple of years after that. I usually take like half a day on Sunday. And then after that, I only had to work 12 hours a day for five days a week. I owned the business for about 12 years, and then sold it. And during that time, I was able to pay off all of my student loans and my house. I bought a small house for $73,000 in 1999. It would cost about $210,000 in 2017. Up here in the mountains, property is relatively low cost. I also started a website that does training for security personnel. And that's what I'm currently doing now. It doesn't take much work. I just maintain the website and everything else is automatic, which is what gives me the time and a little bit of extra money 
to pay for all of the things that I'm doing on the boat. And that's my story. So the next video I'll hopefully post in about a month. I hope to show you the keel attached to the bottom of the boat.